Hey you, Hicks up! Welcome back to Real Code Programmer. Yeah, I'm some of the time. Now, friends, today we're going to create something that looks like this, and of course, that's the front end design of an application using HTML and CSS. So we're going to create this using HTML and CSS. So if you're just getting started with HTML and CSS, or you're just new to creating forms, login forms, and sign up forms in HTML, then this is going to be for you. Yeah, right now let's first navigate through this. Actually, let's navigate through our project. In the first place, I have the header there, that blue bar, or that dark blue bar. And on the left, we have that logo there, the chat app. And then on the right, on the right side of the header, we have the login form there. The login form, here's the login form. Yeah, here's the login form. And then our logo, that's our logo, the chat app, that's our logo. And then below the login form there, we have that text content. Yeah, it's a link. We're not going to work on this, the forgot account. Yeah, I'll make a tutorial about the forgot account system, actually. That's when we talk about the membership systems in PHP and MySQL. So I will deal with this forgot account system. Now let's move down. When we move down a little bit, we have these two sections here. The left section and the right section. And now the content in the right section, the content in the right section begins from the create a new account. The text content there. So this is the right section. And it ends where we have the sign up button. So this is our sign up button. Now we have the birthday information. So here's the birthday information. Now I can make a selection. Just make a selection there. And then move down. Move down, move down. Then make a selection. This is just an example. Yeah. I just want to show you something actually. Now let me check the radio input for the gender. And when I press the submit button, it says please fill out this field because we've used the HTML5 required attribute that we use to validate HTML inputs. So that's why it says please fill out this input. So right now let's let's jump in. And now this is what we're gonna be doing. I'm gonna divide this tutorial in two parts. In the first part, I'll be dealing with the HTML, with the HTML code, and then in the second part, I'm gonna be adding the CSS. So that's what we're gonna be doing in the second part, adding the CSS to our HTML code. But right now, let's begin with the HTML code. Yeah, don't forget to subscribe. And now on my desktop, I have this folder ready. So our project folder. Now let me open the folder. In our text editor yeah, and I'm gonna be using sublime text here if you're using atom brackets or whatever text editor you're using it's better still now let's open let's open sublime text it's just blank at the moment so because we've not opened any folder so let's open a folder let's open our project folder then let's open our project folder just head over to desktop and so there it is, the app. Let's select the app folder. And then there it is. Let's create our index file. Let's create a new index file and then save it. Let's save it index.html. Index. Index.html. Index.html. And then save it. Let's save it. And another thing, in our app folder, we have another folder there. That's the image folder. Let me show you the image that I'm saying. So this is the image icon that I have in the folder. So let's head back to our project folder. So here, let me open it. So this is our image icon that we're gonna be using. The chat app there. So let me close it. And now let's write something in our index file. And of course the first thing is always the HTML. The HTML structure. That's the first thing. Now let's give it a title. Let's give it a title, chat app the chat app chat app what's that chat app and then now let's begin with the first thing which was the header that blue bar the top bar this one so let's begin with that let's begin with that it was actually the header now let me say the header so the header there that was the header then enter now below the header we had the two sections so the, the left section so the left section and the right section. The left section and the right section. So let me say section. Section. I'm actually going to begin with the header. And then the other section. Section. Yeah. Now this is the header. So the first thing was the header. And then the next thing is the left section and the right section. So let's begin with the header. 
Now in the header, I'm going to put a section there, another section in the header, the section tag or the section element, and in the section element, then we begin with a span. And the span now, let me give it a class, a class of logo, class of logo. Then let me give this an ID, an form header. So form header, then here the class, class logo, and then let me bring in the H1, the H1 tag there, and then let me write something in. And of course that's the logo, chat app. So chat app, and below that, below that we had the form, we had the form, the login form. Yeah, let let me show you again. We had this form here, this login form. So let's put that form. Let's say form. Form and in the form, let me just give form a class. Yeah, let me give it a class of login form. Login form. Login form. I'm gonna have first container there, and it's actually gonna be a div, a division, a division, division. Let me give it a class of container. A class of container. Class of container. Then in this container div, I'm gonna have like three more divs there. So three divs, three divisions. So that's the first div. And then the second div. And then the third div here below. Third div there. And the first div content that we're going to put in the first div is the email content. So let's begin with the label. So label, I write there email, email or phone. That's how it was on our browser. Let's actually check it. If there are errors. Yeah, that's it. Email or phone. Email or phone. Email or phone. And then below that, we have the input. The input with the type of email. Type of email. Then the name, let me say email. Then let's let me actually copy this and then paste it in the second division. Paste it in the second division. Now in the third division, in the third division, let me just put an input there. Let me just put an input. In the type submit. Of course, that button there, that login button. This login button here. It's in the third div is in the third division then let's write the value we don't need the name there the value the value is what we need then the value was login 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 let's give it a class a class of submit div submit div submit div submit div then this let's give it a class pass div now let's actually change this Let's change this to password. This one gonna be changed to password. Change this to password. Password. Like that. And then here let's give it a class. A class of email. Email div. That's a class of email div. Then save it. And then below that, let's check our browser. We had this text content, forget account forget account then let's just press enter there and then enter again now let's bring in a span a span and then let's give this span then let's give this span a forgot class forgot forgot class yeah like I said earlier on that I'm gonna make a tutorial on the forgot account system that's in the near future let's bring in the anchor tag and then Hang tag, we're not linking to any file at the moment. Let's just put hash there. Then let's put in our text content there, which was forgot account. Forgot account. Forgot account. Like that. Then let's move down. Let's move down to the next section. Now in this section, now let's give it an ID. An ID. Left section. Unique ID actually. Left section. Then come here give it an ID of right section right section right section and we're going to be giving them similar classes select the two sections and then write in class class let's give them a middle class a middle class 
media class like that. Now let's begin with the left section. In the left section, the first content that I'm going to put there is the H1. The H1, and in the H1, and in the H1, let's write something like connect with the universe. That one there, connect with the universe. Connect with the universe. Connect with the universe. With the universe. Was this uppercased? Was it like that? With the universe. With the universe. Let's actually check it. Connect with the universe. Yeah, uppercased. Connect with the universe. And below that, we had the H2. We had the H2 tag there. And then open quotations. And in the quotations, join today. Join today. And below that we had the image. Yeah, we had the image. Let's actually put this image in a division. Bring in the div tag. And let's give it a class of image logo. I am G logo. Let's give it a class. Class of I am G logo. I am G logo. And then there bring the image. The IMG. The source. That's the source. The directory. IMG. And then the CA. CA.png. CA.png. So there it is. CA.png. CA.png. So that's the image. Then below the image, let's put a label. And in the label, let's bring in the arrow. Let's bring in the arrow. This arrow here that right pointing arrow yeah let's put it in the label now the arrow there is not an image or an icon that's just an HTML entity yeah we have HTML entities and that was the right arrow right in the semicolon so that's the right arrow let me open this in the browser let's click desktop and then open our app folder and let's open this in the browser so let's open it with the browser Google Chrome and so there it is that's what we've just been doing so that's what we've been doing so right now there's no CSS yeah and there is the arrow so there is the arrow the arrow is just there below let me actually zoom let me actually zoom in to show you the arrow so we have the arrow there below so that's the arrow but let's actually style it let's add some styling to that arrow so I'm going to be adding some inline styling just to that arrow. Yeah, let me just add some some inline styling to that arrow. Let me say style. The style attribute there, and then the font size. I just want to increase the size. So let me actually set it to 50 pixels. Pixels like that, and then let me refresh the browser. Then check it again. Yo, there it is now. They now look a bit similar. That one and what we have here. So they a bit look similar. So our work looks like this without CSS. So let's actually continue adding some HTML. And so that's the content in the left section. So now let's jump onto the right section. Now in the right section, we had the H1 create a new account. So it's create a new account. Create a new account create a new account connect with the universe today join today create a new account let's actually see it here yeah create a new account create a new account now let's uppercase this create a new account let's uppercase that then below that we had some text there put it in the h4 so it looks to be an emphasis element emphasis so this emphasis element here is an example of special text formatting elements in HTML that EM tag there so let's write in it's quick and easy and easy so let's check it it's quick and easy it's quick and easy now let's move down it's quick and easy there it is so we're almost there now the next thing below that, of course, is the form. Let's bring in the form tag there. Form tag. Let's give it a class or an ID. 
so let's give it an id of sign up form sign up form and in the sign up form here let me actually put their two divisions so the div tags two, two div tags that's the first div tag and then the second div tag so the second div tag and the first div tag i'm going to give it a class of credentials class of credentials credentials and then the second one let me just give it a unique id then let's give it an id of info that's we're going to write the birthday info on the gender selection so let's begin with the credentials now in the credentials the first thing that i'm going to write there is the input so the input the first input will type so let's write text there and then here let's just write there last name last name or first name first name let's just write f name then let's copy this now and paste it below and then change this to l name last name then the placeholder let's put there some placeholders placeholder attribute and then let's begin with this first name so let's begin with the first name first name then here let's write last name last name like that press enter then an input second input let's actually put a break tag there vr then the input set the type to email the email then the name now then the placeholder the placeholder then the placeholder attribute there let's write the mobile number mobile number 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 or email number or email let's actually refresh this on the browser refresh it there now let's move down yeah so this is what we're doing mobile number then copy the input again then copy this input again copy that and then paste it below then let's change this to let's change this to password was it password let's see it. yeah enter password password type was password and then the type here password type their password then now instead of the mobile number let's change this to enter password the placeholder there enter password then put a break put a br tag there br tag then do the same thing here br tag Then refresh it. You know, there, enter password. There it is. Enter password. Enter password. And I'm gonna give these two inputs similar ID. So let's give them some ID. ID. So because we're gonna add similar styling to these two inputs, let's give them similar ID. So let's say input. So or something like F input f input like that f input just because we want to add similar styling to the two inputs different from these two inputs above here so let's just give those two an id of f input and so now let's jump below to the next division press enter there now in this division let's begin with the birthday information this birthday information here let's let's come here so we're going to begin with the birthday information that birthday there let's put it in the span in the span they write their h3 h3 and they write birthday birthday like that then below the birthday let's bring in the select let's bring in the select select that select element there in html we have that select element and of course when you're making a selection you must have options so we have that option tag there in HTML and now let's write in the month the month and go below that and then bring in an option again and leave that blank yeah let's leave that blank and the next one is not gonna be blank 
the next one let's write there the month January January like that and then let's copy this let's copy this let's copy that and then paste it below then paste it below and paste it paste it again paste it change this to February then again below that let's paste this the right there next symbol and then save uh, let's come back to our project that we're working on refresh then move below now let's select here let's make a selection so there it is we're just making a selection so January February March April just like that up to December now let's go back to our text editor press enter here there again and let's write a select bring in the select element again and the option then the next option is the day the day there then press enter option leave it blank then the next option is zero one and then let's copy this let's copy this paste first change this to two two and then change that to three change that to four change that to five change that to six seven eight nine then change this to ten now go down again then just copy this and hit enter again then change this to 31 31 we we'll check this on the browser the day there it is the day just move down so that's the selection and the options are there in so come below that then bring in the select element then write in first option you write in the year then below the year below the year there we had another option first one we just want to leave it blank there just to create some space actually between the year and their options and so I'm going to reduce the options for the year I'm just going to make them less let's begin with 2002 2002 going down let me copy this then paste it below change this to 2001 and then to 2000 now let's begin with the 19 change that to 1 then change that to 0 1990 so I'm going to add more options for the years let's just end with 1990 yeah there it is can start from 2002 going down so just choose your month choose a month there then choose a day there so choose choose your day there so we're almost there the difference is just the styling so we've not added CSS and now let's just hit enter and then below this we have the gender the h3 the right there gender Agenda. then let's bring in the inputs the first input will type radio so the radio type is actually that round input so let me show you this one here this round input that's the radio type so for the agenda let's start with that let's copy it then paste it below paste it there and then let's write in male then here let's write in female female and below the female let's put there a label for the female label and then let's write there female then just copy this copy that and then paste it below then change this to male male female then let's go back to our project and refresh it let's move down well there it is the gender option so that gender option there female let's go here 
then let's see there it is so let's go back to a text editor and then below that below that we have the span below that there is a span and then in this span I'm gonna write there a paragraph and in the paragraph we have this sentence by clicking I click in sign up I click in sign up you agree to our terms to our terms of service I click in sign up you agree to our terms of service there it is but the terms the terms is in a link the hyperlink one is hyperlinked the terms is hyperlinked so let's just put that in an anchor tag and then put the href there the hyperlink reference to hash refresh this on our project that we've been working on so by clicking sign up you agree to our terms of service yeah there it is now let's write something again agree to our terms of service and the next thing there the next thing there was the button this button here the sign up button so we're actually almost done and in the next part we shall be adding CSS to our code so the next thing below that is the sign up button sign up button and let's put it in a division in a div there and bring in the input the input the type of submit type of submit uh, because we want it to be different from the first input type with the submit for example this one that we had at the top here we had this input here at the top so let's add some ID there just to make them unique and let's give this a login a login ID then let's come down here and give it an ID an ID of sign up sign up ID sign up ID just like that so let me just remove this and then replace then replace it with value the sign up like that sign up like that So where is it? Where's our project? Then let's refresh this now. Then let me show you the button. So there is the button. This button there, the sign up button. That's the sign up button. Let's just navigate through what we've been doing. Yeah, there it is, the form header, the logo. Let's actually put some breaking there. Some BR. Then a BR there. Let's put some BR there, then BR there. Let's put some break in there. So let's put some break there. And then a break there. We just want it to be organized. So we just want it to look neat, actually. We want it to look neat. Let's see that. Oh, there it is. And so let's meet in the next part of CSS.